YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is Friday, July 29th, 2022, and I hope y'all are safe and healthy. For today's video, we are going to take a look at a Division 2 build that we are calling the Repairman, and this build is great for heroic, legendary raids, and pretty much any content in the game. It's actually one of the best healing builds and offers some of the most damage to your team in the game. The only knock on this build is that you can't go into overcharge. And in your way. Another agent has joined your group. Medical assistance needed. All right, now that you've seen what this build can do in action, let's take a look at the build. We are running four pieces of Future Initiative, one piece of R&H, one piece Alps, and we are using the Survivalist Specialization. Here is a look at our specialization tree. The reason we are running this is for the 15% outgoing heal that you're going to get, and then also for the fire grenades and the extra damage that you're going to give your team to status-affected enemies. For our primary weapon, I am running the Police Mark 17 for no particular reason other than it's just one of my favorite guns. Uh, you can run whatever gun here you want. The only thing that matters is the talent, which is Reformation, which says Headshots Grant plus 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. For our secondary, I'm going with the Exotic Shotgun, the Scorpio, and this is going to be for the enemies that get up close. And this is also going to be how I'm going to put a status effect on enemies and allow my team to get that that buff off of the specialization tree. Now, in the intro, I mentioned that the only knock on this build is you can't get into overcharge. You can run the mechanical animal and get into overcharge that way. However, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage, and so you're not going to be getting a lot of kills to proc the uh, future perfect talent. So I just didn't recommend it. Moving on to the gear, we are running our first piece of Future Initiative, and this has got a skill tier, repair skills with a repair skills mod. 
on our chest piece, we went with the R&H chest piece, which is gonna give us 20% incoming repairs. Then we've got a skill tier, skill haste, repair skills, and an incoming repairs mod. And the talent is emphatic resolve, which says repairing an ally increases their total weapon and skill damage by three to 15% for 20 seconds, one to 7% if self. Effectiveness is increased by your skill tier. For our holster, this is our second piece of future initiative. This is gonna give us that two piece bonus of 30% repair skills. And then we've got a skill tier and repair skills rode onto this. Moving on to the knee pads. This is our third piece of future initiative. This is gonna give us 15% skill haste, 30% skill duration. And then we've got another skill tier and repair skills rode onto these. For the gloves, this is our fourth piece of future initiative, and this is going to activate the ground control talent, which just increases you and your allies' total weapon and skill damage by 15% when at full armor. When you repair an ally, you and all allies within 5 meters of you are also repaired for 60% of that amount. And then we've got a skill tier and repair skills rode onto these. Last but not least, for the backpack, we are running an Alps Summit backpack, and this is going to give us 20% repair skills, a skill tier. We've got repair skills, skill haste, and an incoming repairs mod on this. And the talent is, while at full armor, increases total skill repair by 100%. Here's a look at our Restorer Hive. We have about 4 million health, about 390,000 healing, and then 238 thousand pvp healing and of course this is a six skill tier hive here's a look at the chem launcher and we are doing a little bit over 1.3 million ally repair and then for pvp ally repair we are at 672,000. of course this is also a skill tier six that's going to do it for today's build video. I hope you guys find this helpful. If you do, be sure to smash that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you're interested for more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.